Um, so the software I'm using right now is Zoom for video calling, and that is free, um, as well as BitPaper. So that is what you can see on the screen. Um, and the topic that we are discussing today is equivalent fractions. And this is something I got from my friend Dana. And it's kind of explaining the concept of what equivalence means because it can be difficult for students to understand. So this says equivalence, same value but with a different look. So I was able to do some fun little things here. What I did is I basically Googled equivalent fractions and I was able to find some free worksheets online from um, worksheetfun.com. So all I had to do was go to the snipping tool and I could just uh, snip some things out of this worksheet and just copy paste them right on to this document. So I just thought, you know, this is a really easy way to tutor a child um, because there is so much that you can do with this online whiteboard. Um, so basically, I, you know, I, I snip things together and I show you that, show them this, and it's like, what do these fractions have in common? So you have one half, um, two fourths, and four eighths. So I thought this would be a much better way to demonstrate equivalence than simply just um, drawing the pictures myself. So uh, I, you know, you don't have to worry about drawing any shapes if you're not good at drawing shapes like me. If you have a hard time um, writing out text, you can, there's a text feature towards the bottom of the screen. So um, that's over here. And, you know, you can click on that. You can add text that way. So it's all, you know, super easy, easy to follow. And then I even made this final page, and I'm going to move uh, the video a little bit. Um, I sh will. I used a uh, fraction shape maker, um, which I found online, and I created two different fractions here. Um, there is the five tenths and the one half and um, basically created like a little question for her. So fill in the blank, these two fractions are equivalent or not equivalent. So all she has to do is click on the correct answer and she could drag it right into that spot. And then I put apart, how do you know? Because um, with Common Core, we always wanna be asking students the why. They always need to be, be able to explain the reason behind the answer that they got. So um, when I was a child, it was all about, you know, the, the rule and just solving it, getting the answer, sometimes using a trick, not really understanding why something works the way it does. But now with Common Core, um, we really need to look at the why and think about it. So I gave her two options and the options are they look different but have the same value or they look different and have a different value. So in this case, the correct answer would be this one. They look different and they look different because um, the first uh, circle has 10 parts and the second circle has two parts. So yes, they look different, but they have the same value. So if I look at these two shapes and I just imagine it was something else like a pizza, um, you know, I could cut the same size pizza in 10 parts and I can cut that pizza into two parts. And if I, you know, make, uh, if I take, five parts of half that pizza versus that whole half the pizza, it's the same amount. We can look at these and see that it's the same amount that's being shaded. It just is broken into a few more parts. So in this case, I know that the fractions are equivalent because they look different, but they have the same value. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a great day. Um, if you like this video, feel free to share it with other people, like and comment below, and I will see you guys next time.